Hello, I'm Angelie Velasquez and welcome to This Week in Review for February 25th, 2011 on Green Earth TV. Our project of the week is Conservation Technology at Ice House Center, built in 2010 in Baltimore, Maryland. One of the first rooftop gardens designed specifically for honeybees, it was installed on a new addition to Conservation Technology's headquarters, a 105-year-old historic ice manufacturing plant. Led by Green Roof Service and Architecture and Design Inc., the hybrid green roof features an ever-blooming array of plants and a water source for the bees that will live on the roof while offering all of the benefits of green roof technology. The surface area of the green roof within the parapet walls is approximately 7,000 square feet, which includes about 750 square feet of hard surface. The extensive area consists of Semper Green Seda mats installed in 2008 and the semi-intensive honeybee garden planting was installed in November 2010 using an OptiGreen system provided by Conservation Technology. Especially in this dense and mixed-use neighborhood, Green Earth slow and store contaminated stormwater runoff, reduce airborne pollutants, and mitigate the urban heat island effect, thus benefiting the urban environment, streams, and bays, and now provide habitat for honeybees. To learn more about conservation technology at the Ice House Center, click on our Project of the Week link on our homepage. Be sure to check out Portland Celebrates Eco Roof Month in March, our latest Sky Gardens guest blog post by Matt Berlin, Outreach Coordinator for Sustainable Stormwater Management with the City of Portland Environmental Services. There are events going on the entire month, such as a variety of tours and fantastic speakers, including Dr. Stefan Brennison, Wolfgang Ansel, and Paul Kephart. The high point of the month will be the third annual EcoRoof Portland event, which will take place on Friday, March 18th at the Oregon Convention Center. More than 60 local EcoRoof designers, suppliers, manufacturers, researchers, nonprofits, and community groups will be on hand at this free public event to share their knowledge. Also on Sky Gardens, Linda blogs about her recent presentation to the Atlanta Aero Club, thanks to its president, Steve Champness, where she gave an overview of airport green roofs to about 150 members of mostly pilots and industry leaders, including Delta Airlines president, Ed Bastian, and Gulfstream Aerospace Corporation president, Joe Lombardo. In 2005, she wrote the paper, European Airport Green Roofs, a Potential Model for North America, and this post includes some newer airport projects from around the world since then. You can also see her PowerPoint presentation, too. Job links. Live Roof is seeking a preventative maintenance technician in Spring Lake, Michigan. You can go to greenroofs.com slash joblinks at htm for more information on this job and other green roof job postings. Advertiser press release. American Hydrotech, a recognized leader in the development and distribution of premium waterproofing and roofing products, hired Richard C. Hayden as Garden Roof Department Manager. Hayden brings more than 30 years of landscape architecture experience to Hydrotech, where he'll be responsible for overall management of the Garden Roof Department, including ongoing promotion of Hydrotech's Garden Roof Assembly in an effort to educate and engage architects owners, developers, and installers in the design, installation, and overall benefits of green roofs. February 27th through March 2nd is Green Cities 2011, People, Places, and Performance Conference in Melbourne, Australia. February 28th through March 2nd is the 2011 Resonant Building Performance Conference in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. March 1st through the 3rd is EcoBuild 2011 in London, England. Be sure to check out the Tremco Alamask Exterior Building Products and Semper Green Stands where they'll be showcasing their products. Andrew Mitchler of Inhabitat.com tells us that Morphosis unfolds an undulating campus of grass and glass in Shanghai. He says software company Giant Interactive's new headquarters by Morphosis Architecture is a dreamlike space that curls around a lake with several canals. The greenery helps to reduce heat gain throughout the buildings through both its thermal mass and evaporative cooling. 
A double facade and glass curtain wall incorporated into the buildings also helped dramatically reduce exterior heat gain and the amount of energy used for cooling. As usual, check out the stunning photos for this building and Habitat.com has on its website. Benjamin Pocross of the Chicago Maroon reports on CTS Gets Green Roof with Stimulus Funding. A $50,000 grant for a green roof will help the Chicago Theological Seminary earn its mandatory LEED certification. The roof will contribute to the university's new sustainable building policy, which mandates that all buildings over $5 million be LEED certified. The 5,000 square foot renovation will allow for rooftop plants that help to reduce the urban heat island effect and facilitate water runoff, according to CTS President Alice Hunt. The grant is from the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity through the Green Roofs Program of the Federal 2009 American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, says Senior Project Manager for the new CTS building, Desiree DeLucente. Laura Clapper of Construction Digital asks, Rooftop Gardens, the key to sustainable cities? She says the sibling of green roofs, Rooftop Gardens, produce similar environmental benefits while providing food for family and community. The sustainability of cities is a hot topic in the environmental community. Some say cities will never be sustainable, and others say that cities are perfect for sustainability. But while the debate continues, the idea of rooftop gardens in urban areas seems to answer one of the major problems with the urban environment the struggle to feed oneself and the family. Having a patch of earth of one's own in which to grow food seems like a practical way to combat hunger. To learn more about these stories and new ones posted daily, go to our In The News or Newsleak section of our website. Have something you think we should know about and post on our website? You can send us your green articles, videos, and images to editor at greenroofs.com. Want to stay in the know about what's going on at greenroofs.com? We'll stay up to date by subscribing to our Green Roofs TV channel on YouTube, following us on Twitter, liking us on Facebook, and being a member of our network on LinkedIn. Our 2011 Green Roofs and Walls of the World 12-month wall calendar is still available for purchase. So go to greenroofs.com slash calendar.htm and order some today for your friends, family, and coworkers. This has been This Week in Review for February 25th, 2011 on Green Roofs TV. I'm Angelie Velasquez, and I'll see you next week. This week's episode is sponsored by the Green Roofs and Green Walls Directory and the 2011 Green Roofs and Walls of the World calendar, brought to you by GreenRoofs.com.